Hello everyone. Hello, hello, hello and welcome. Welcome to Linda's Stampin' Escape. I want you to come on in and join me this Tuesday. We have some fun techniques and tricks tonight. Ah, oh, I got some cool stuff to show you. A lot of it comes from, well, I'll tell you as we go along. <laughs> oh my gosh. Hi, Cheryl. How are you today? All right. And Barb's here. Hi, Barb. to set my stuff down so it is out of my way and we can get busy. Hope I can just want to make sure I can see everybody's comments. There we go. Good Cheryl says she's fine. Cheryl also messaged me and told me her order came in so that means a lot of you will be getting your orders in soon. Take a look at them when you when they come in and make sure everything's okay. If it's not, call me right away and we'll take care of it. Just want to make sure you got all your goodies so you can play. So I am Linda from Linda Stamp and Escape. And today my presentation is about Color Me Happy because we're going to be coloring a lot of things. I saw a technique... Um, from a fellow demonstrator and I tried to replicate that and I will show you what I did and then I'm going to show you a whole lot more so we're going to go from that and we are going to be using the bedazzling designer paper from the celebration catalog so this paper is so cool look at this oh yes so, so pretty. Um, and this is one of the items you can get for free when you purchase $50 before shipping and handling. So, tonight I am going to bedazzle you with color. All right. So, we are going to get a move on. <laughs> oh, and look, I put these right here. Um, so I didn't forget, I have two drawings tonight, and I also have my names all set up and ready. So, yeah, fell off the little bandwagon last week. So, anyhow, so we, I was told or shown that you can dye this paper. So I just got a little scrap here. Well, actually, it's kind of a big scrap, but I'm just going to put that in here. And then, ooh, I got something sticky on the bottom. Oh, well, that's probably a good thing. It won't jump around on me. Okay, so I'm going to take our spritzer. And I'm going to go a little wild tonight. Good evening, Chris. Thank you for joining us. And. I got about five little drops in there of the re-inker. That's what we call them. Other people call them ink for refilling your ink pads. <laughs> so whatever you call it, it is the ink that you use to fill your ink pads. And then I am going to use, remember the 70% alcohol that you cannot use on your... Um, blending technique that we tried a couple weeks ago you can use it for this all right and then we're going to put some alcohol in no here we go i'm going to put this in here So Cheryl said, I guess you're only doing this technique for three of us tonight. Well, maybe other people have plans, but they also know they can watch me on my blog tomorrow. And I also post all of my videos on 
YouTube. So, all right, let's get that pink. That's way in the bottom. Look at that bright color. Ooh, something tells me this might um, dye my bottle too. What do you think? That's this is magenta madness. So what we're gonna do here is just give this a squirt. Ooh, that is. I'm going on thick, girls. We're going to go wild. Ooh, it's even... Oh, yes, I go crazy. <laughs> My granddaughters would love this. I think I got her on a little thick. So we're going to set that to dry. And I, my fingers are crossed for this one because I'm going to show you the other one. I kept thinking what gorgeous color that would be. Oh my gosh, this looks like a this looks like a mask. Chris, you're wearing off on me. I'm starting to, I'm starting to see eyes. Oh, it's too funny. So maybe I will turn this into a mask. Who knows? But um the color on my computer shows a kind of weird pink, but um it's actually a very vibrant pink. Magenta madness. So we're going to set that aside to dry. Then I'll bring that back. But here is my um, Night of Navy. I'm going to put a little white back there so you can see. So it did turn out. It's very, very dark. And it, it's just... It's, it's still very pretty, but it almost looks like black. So did I go too dark? I don't know. Maybe that's a good thing. But at first I was thinking, well, this really didn't turn out at all. But it, it really is pretty. And now that I did the Magenta Madness, I'm thinking that looks really nice. It's actually starting to dry already. Look at, I got a face. <laughs> Oh, gosh. Chris, we're going to crack each other up. So, okay. I'm just going to set this off to the side and let this dry. This is just a scrap piece of paper I have here. And I'm going to let it dry. But it's already looking really pretty. Isn't that gorgeous? And this is done just with your spritzer bottles a re-inker, and your alcohol. So, and you don't, you don't have to use the 91% alcohol like we do on our blender, um, stamp and blends technique that we did. So let's set this aside. But speaking of those blenders, oh my gosh, look at, it really is cracking me up here. Okay, focus, Linda. <laughs> so I was just wondering, I have another piece of scrap here, and I thought, because when I saw that last night, I'm like, oh, this really didn't turn out. This didn't look the way I wanted to, but now that I see it on camera, it was really pretty. So I came up with a totally different idea. Um, and that was, of course, to drag out... <laughs> my Stampin' Blends. Now, these guys are just fun to play with, aren't they? So I want to show you how quick and easy these are. A little bit less messy. Hi, Barb. And this... Can you see that? Try to get that a little little bigger there. Now, when I do this, I am not using my tip. I am going on the side. And this is my Highland Heather. And I'm going to show you what Granny Apple Green looks like. Maybe I should have left that white under here. Let me see what I got. I got a little envelope here. We can use that from our um, last class. There we go. 
look at that. Granny Apple Green. Now, of course, I gotta put more pink next to that green. I have a lot of great granddaughters. No, I don't have any great granddaughters. I just have granddaughters. The greats are all boys. All four of them. There we go. This is our polished pink. So that's one of the new ink colors. Then I'm going to do a little... This is actually the teal, um, which is funny because it says dark pumpkin pie. This was a return from somebody. <laughs> so I just bought her a new one and kept this one. Sometimes that's easier than doing exchanges. So not is it Bermuda Bay Bermuda Bay and then let me bring you back to my night of navy that I started with so I guess when you look at this it looks pretty close to what the other one looked like again gently go on the sides and don't use your tips because you don't want to break your tip but let's get a Let's get a close-up look at these. So now you know you can color any one of these or your bedazzled paper with any one of the colors that you have. But it has to be the Stampin' Blends because that's the alcohol marker, which is exactly what you were doing here. Okay, here's our pink back. Not quite dry yet, because I got pretty saturated there. But look at that. It's pretty good. So, either way, if, if you... I would say if you want to do a full sheet, use your spritzers. Because you really don't want to um, use your marker on a whole sheet. But if you're doing just small pieces, you could go ahead and use your marker. Um, big piece, use this technique. And then for small pieces, you could use this technique. Because those pinks are pretty close. Uh, different color pinks. This is the polished pink. And this is magenta madness. But yeah, they're pretty cool. Oh, we have another Barb joined us in the house. Hello, Barb. So, yes. This is our bedazzled paper, and you can do anything with that. So I couldn't just show you this without putting at least a card together. So I'm going to make sure that I have the ink off my fingers before I start touching, because eh, I have a habit of doing that, right? Okay, we're going to start with our regular size card base. This is our 8.5 by 5.5. Score it at four and a quarter and fold it. All right. And then we have a piece of very vanilla. I have been stuck on the basic white a lot lately. And I thought just, I like this soft look. I'm going to make a fall card. So I am going to use, and yes, my little spider is still sticking here. <laughs> The Blessed from Festive and Bright. So you saw me use this one for our um, shaker card for Spooky. And then this one we used Festive and Bright. Those should be on my blog already. All right, I'm going to stick with the Old Olive. Get that in there. Just tap gently. Don't have to push on these. And we're going to put this in the corner. I like this font because I'm not looking for anything real fancy. My first idea was to have a cute little Halloween card. But with the glam glitter that I'm using, I didn't think it quite fit. So... Now we're going to take this and we're going to use our um, textured 
embellishment, and I think it's called texture. Let me just check here quick. Because I have it sitting right here. Thoughtful textile, that's what this one's called. I like this one, and it kind of gives the same look as our Bedazzled almost. So I thought they would look nice together. So I ran that through the big shot, yes, after I stamped it. <laughs> Cheryl said, please, Halloween. I was going to do Halloween. It just didn't turn out that way. But I'll do Halloween. So this is where we're going with this one. I'm not going to put that on yet. I'm just going to wait. So what I did was I cut out ovals. So now if you were going to cut out a whole bunch of these, I would say fill this up with pumpkin pie and then your alcohol. Remember on this one I used five little drops and I filled it about three quarters full. But my guess is you could fill it all the way. So it's, it's, it's pretty, it's pretty um, dense. So it's going to color for you very nicely so if you're going to cut out or color cut out a lot of these then I would color the whole sheet but if you're just going to do a few you could use your stamp and blends and to be honest this was a bad one at least I thought it was bad because this was so frayed on top that's what made me use this to begin with so I thought, oh, well, I can't wreck it, right? When I thought, oh, my gosh, this works perfect because it's covering everything. And I still have a lot of ink in there. So I was happy to find out that I had a technique that I could use that on that I may not use on like a card or something that you're doing a little bit more of a fussy coloring. You always have the other tip, but I just go over that a little bit. And then I also, if I can find them little buggers, I hope I didn't lose them. Here's one. I, don't, I, I swear I lose everything. Wait till you hear the next part I'm going to do. <laughs> I'm running all over my house. and There they are. I knew I had them set. So I did here. Let me put them up here and show you how pretty those are. Just whatever leaves you have at home, I just cut them out and colored them with the old olive. So now we have pumpkin pie and old olive. So I'm just going to set those there. And then what I did next was I took some baker's twine. And this might this one might be out of one of my paper pumpkin kits. But again, I took my marker. That's why this class is called Color Me Happy, because I'm coloring everything. So I'm just going to take my marker, and I'm going to color this. And I'm going to move that out of the way. And it takes a few... Um, times running this over you could put this through your ink pad but I really wanted this color I wanted the wetness that I'm getting from the alcohol here all right and then once it's colored I am going to take my I have a little I keep moving things for all ladies I need an assistant to just hand me my stuff oh wouldn't that be fun um well let me just show you what I did because I can't there here it is see I told you I had it craziness all right now I'm going to take this and I'm going to wrap this around and I'm wrapping it kind of tight and I'm going to go all the way around all right I'm just 
just going to stick that there. And it's unbelievable that it actually sticks, kind of. You can put a little more on there, see? Just one little end pulled loose, but it's holding on really good. And then you're just going to, like, slide your finger. Let me show you. Once this is dry, you're going to pull this down so that it moves. See, this one's kind of sticking already to it. And then you're going to pull it off, and you're going to get this cute little swirly here. Because you know where I'm going with all this, don't you? Little swirlies. And three of these little guys, right? So we're going to take one of these. And probably don't need that much, but it snuck out on me. Probably not a bad thing either because it is going to glue this together. Now you see where I'm going. I'm going to just set that down, put a little pressure on there so that glue gets a little tacky and then it will so wants to push away because he's got two of those he's got to fight with. I am going to add a little more to him so he gets this one here. I got a man pumpkin, I guess. I call him him. There we go. Much better. Now that it's sticking to this, he's not going to fight against that one. All right. It's already getting sticky. So now what I'm going to do is I just want to put some dimensionals on here. Right now I'm going to put them just so I know that's not going to come apart on me. I'm going to put some around the edges. This is nice and thick, so you don't need any um, a whole bunch of them, and you know it's not going to like warp on you, kind of like a cardstock. Not a cardstock, but um, what is the word I'm thinking of, girls? Oh, designer paper. All right, now I'm going to use this to stick my first little piece on. I'm not done yet. pieces right here. I had a little piece of brown paper that I was going to stick back there. I want to do this one kind of. I'm going to put an extra one over here. So you're just going to kind of build this as you go. There you go. That looks pretty. We're getting there, girls. All right, and then I took my coordinating papers. So my little piece here is three by three and a quarter of very vanilla, and the old olive mat is three and a quarter by three and a half. So uh, Deb's here. She's joining us now. So see where this is? I'm going to grab... That little piece of paper, see, isn't this cute? So this came out of the tree set again. That how every time I come in here, then I forget what that one's called. But I'm just gonna cut this to follow the tree's grain. Okay, so we just want a cute little stem that's going to stick that's right there. 
There he goes. He's on it. And I didn't want a whole lot of that sticking out because he's not real glittery, but he just kind of blends in nice with the rest of our plain stuff. Hi, Cindy. So that's where we're going with that. So now we got to get our, our little fun stuff on here. And we don't want to forget this because don't they have those curlies? <laughs> the little vines. So we're just going to kind of wrap these around and stick them on there. He's being fussy with me today. And you can add as many of these dimensionals back here as you need to hold everything in place. It's not going to hurt a thing. There we go. I like this really curly one. I'm trying to see if I can just grab two of these, that little end of there, and get him up in there. There we go. There. And who knew once he's laying down, he's going to be a little... It's going to be even cuter. And we got another guy over here. Let's put him over there. I just thought that would be fun. <laughs> so I was started telling the girls right away when I first opened this um, session up that um, I was looking for something. And when I came up with this idea of wrapping here and getting my little curlies, I was looking for spray starch. And I swear that I have spray starch. And, you know, I'll probably find it on Saturday, but that's okay. We got an extra leaf for another, for another day, another project. Put some adhesive on this. And then a pumpkin will be done. And you could, probably could have wrote Happy Halloween on here. But right now, all I have close to me was Trick or Treat or Boo. And I didn't quite like that. So now we got this and this. And I wanted to add a bow. So, girls, I'm going to want your input because guess what I did? This beautiful white ribbon is our organdy glitter ribbon. So it's called glittered organdy ribbon. And guess what? You can dye that too. So where is that white piece of paper? Let's bring that back. So what are you thinking, girls? Do you think we should go and look at, look at how pretty that turned out? So it's going to pick up any color that you use with it. Again, Stampin' Blends right over your ribbon. And we have Pumpkin Pie or Old Olive. So I'm thinking here. And then I didn't know if I wanted to go. I can't go too far underneath. So it would be like this. Or I could bring that down here and just tie a little bow underneath. We could do that. And then it would either be... I'm thinking if we go down here, we should do the pumpkin pie. If I go up here, I think I'll stick with the old olive. So what are you ladies thinking? Are you thinking up here with the old olive? Or are you thinking down below and add that extra pop of color with the pumpkin pie? Pumpkin, pumpkin, pumpkin. <laughs> okay, now I know which color I'm going for. I think I'm going to pop this guy up too. Oh, 
Cindy said, how about both? Let me put these on, and then maybe we'll try that. I have to say, ladies, I miss stamping face-to-face -face with all of you. So I am forming clubs right now, so if you would like to join in, I'd love to have you. So Cindy said both. So how would I... What do you think in both? I just tie one or layer them like this? What are you thinking, girls? Pumpkin below. I think I'm going to do the pumpkin down here. And I made it long enough so that I can tie a bow. Cindy Oz has amazing ideas. She's always one of our winners at Retreat. Oh, yes. Okay, girls. I'm liking. Sorry for the oldie but goodie here. I'm waiting for my refills. I'm hoping they'll be here by Thursday for our class. All right. Now let's pop these. Cindy said, don't jinx me. Ooh, yes, by the way, I do, I need to get a letter out to all my retreat attendees and give you a theme for our swaps this year. So, there we go. Ooh, that got a little bit higher than I expected. And I probably can't pull it down, can I? <laughs> all right, I guess it's staying there. It's all right, it'll pull down a little bit. So I'm gonna slide this up under now that I have it attached. And we'll give it a little tie here so it will create a nice little effect there. There we go. Oh gosh, I hope this looks as pretty on your screen as it does in purpose. In, in person. I think my lips are broke tonight. There we go. So, getting all about that glitter going on here. So, pretty little pumpkin card. I like bringing this in because it tones down with the rest of our outside here. Texture works nice with our bedazzled paper. And... Then a little greeting to share how I feel. I feel totally blessed to be with all of you guys. And I just want to let you know, within the next month or so, I'm going to be opening, opening up a VIP group. So um, all of you that, are, that come and spend time with me all the time will definitely be invited. It's going to be a little more fun, a little more informative, and we will probably do some extra stuff. So it's going to be a lot like our party games or our parties, so we're going to have a, a lot more fun, and we'll do all sorts of stuff. So it's going to be a special room for VIPs, and um, I will be sending those invites out within... A month or so so I'm just in the planning I've never done anything like that but anyways there is our card today let's go back and revisit our our two colors here that we did I'm gonna grab that envelope back here so here is that magenta madness right and then here are the other colors that we did that is Highland Heather, Granny Apple Green, 
This was the lip, oh, the polish, polished pink, I'm sorry, Bermuda Bay and Knight of Navy. So, oh, we had a Knight of Navy here too, didn't we? Where did I put it? Oh, girls. There we go. So, whether you spray it or color it on, you get a lot of, you can change up your bedazzled paper and do anything you want with it. I just, I just had to do a fun card with this and I just thought the pumpkin, I haven't done a pumpkin for a long time. So, all right, ladies. Um, again, this is free with the $50 purchase out of our celebration catalog. And now you know all sorts of things you can do for that to get that $50 so you can get your bedazzled free if you don't have it yet. You can just hop over on my website and do that. You can't go wrong with the blending pens. Our Stampin' Blends are perfect. So let's hang on. And we are going to go in for two weeks ago. This was the night we did our embossing paste. So the first Tuesday in August. Let's do a full screen here. And we are going to go first one. We'll go for our all the trimmings. This is retired, but perfect time of year for this. Christmas is coming, so that works great for that. So if you are ready, ladies, let's count this down. Three, two, one. Good luck. Ooh, Miss Sandy Becker. We have a winner. Sandy B. All right, so we got your name on there, Sandy. And we're going to pull this out and get rid of this one. And then we are going to spin for last week's group of people. So when you comment... When you share, when you um, like, whatever you do, thumbs up, your name goes in for the drawing, and I appreciate that. It helps build my visibility on Facebook, and so you know, don't always have to spend money to help out your fellow or your demonstrator, so this works, and um references are the best form of flattery so i would appreciate that too so let's spin for the cute stars adhesive back sequins ready ladies three two one and good luck everyone miss beth All right, got to get names on all this. My stairs are getting full. I got to clean that off. So, ladies, I appreciate you joining. Your names will all be on our list next week. And I hope to see you there. Here is our card for tonight and our awesome technique that we did with the coloring. Again, remember, you can dye it. Or you can color it this way. So color me happy because both of these techniques work nice. And our little pink mask. So if you hop on over to my um, Facebook page tomorrow, you will definitely see our pumpkin card. And you will probably see another one. So thank you again for joining me tonight. I appreciate it. You all have a wonderful evening. Good night.